Hey everybody, how you doing tonight? This is Tom Terry with another installment of Guitar Bass. Tonight it's going to be the four string Music Master from the late 70s. And um, I'm going to be paying homage to the great Willie Dixon of chess fame in Chicago. Um, big blues fan. I've had a pretty wonderful career of touring with blues and soul and funk acts over the years both nationally and abroad uh, and uh, always just been a great Willie Dixon fan um, one of the masters and you know a lot of people don't know he was one of the first um, entrepreneurs African-American entrepreneurs in the music industry as he was the talent scout for chess the producer he wrote a lot of the great songs that Muddy Waters and Howlin' Wolf recorded, uh, among others, and uh, and he was a great bass player as well. And uh, so my, my one brush with Willie Dixon was, um, of course, he's long past, you know, but I um, went to the chess studio to check out it in the, hmm, maybe about 10 or 15 years ago. And, um, you know, of course, Willie's been long gone. But I banged on the door to get in because I was there early. And uh, I didn't have time to wait. So I was very eager to see the studio as I've been to Chicago a gazillion times touring and playing, but just never had the time to check out the studio. And the security guard opened the door and said, we're not open yet. And I said, sir, I said, I really, really need to see the studio. Can, can I just come in, please, just for a few minutes? And I was about an hour early before it opened, and they would, they would have tours there and stuff and this and that, but nobody was there, just me and a friend and the security guard who agreed to let me in, so that was really nice. And uh, so I kind of just browsed around, and uh, but this security guard knew everything there was to know about Willie Dixon. He had gave me all of these facts, and pretty much everything I just talked about, and just what songs charted, and when they charted, and the years, and this guy was like a walking, walking encyclopedia about Willie Dixon. I just couldn't believe it. And uh, so I checked out the studio. I went up into the live room, and uh, it was just, it felt like magic up there. That's, you know, that's the place where they would record uh, Helen Wolf and Muddy Waters and Willie Dixon and Lil Walter and the Stones recorded their second record there. So it was just like, to me, it was just like a mecca, magical place. So anyway, so I hung out for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes, and then as I was on my way out, I uh, reached in my pocket and I, I handed... Uh, the security guard some money because I felt like you know it was really nice of him to do that so um, he says what's this for I said well you know make get yourself some lunch or something you know I'm really appreciate you accommodating me you know and I said man you sure didn't know a lot about about Willie Dixon he goes well, I should know a lot about Willie Dixon he was my grandfather so there you go that's my brush with fame Willie Dixon's grandfather so here we go spoonful <laughs> Thank you. Subscribe, please.